Dogs are all the same species. Have you ever wondered why they look so different? Seriously. Size, fur pattern, color, and length, shape of ears, snouts, legs, bodies, tails, even personalities. Why do they have such different traits? All organisms, including dogs, are made up of cells. Cells have organelles like the cell membrane, mitochondria, and the nucleus. You've been told that the nucleus is the control center of the cell. It programs how the cell, and therefore the organism, grows and develops. This control center is like a king on his throne. The king doesn't run around himself telling people what to do. Instead, he makes laws and send minions out to do his bidding. DNA, a very long molecule in the nucleus of the cell, works in a similar way. Pieces of the DNA called genes program proteins. Proteins are the minions who do the king DNA's bidding. But what does that have to do with dog traits? Two students have two different ideas. Emil says, genes, DNA, program proteins. Proteins work with other proteins to make traits. An organism's traits are made only by its genes. Another student, Kiana, has a different idea. She says, genes, DNA, program proteins. Proteins work with other proteins and environmental factors to make traits. An organism's traits are made by its genes and its environment. So, who is right? Emil, who thinks traits are made only by genes, or Kiana, who thinks traits are made by genes and the environment? What is it that makes one dog different from another? That's what you are going to explore.